everybody, my name is Light of Hand, and today I'll be doing Folklore The Afflictions, a ghost miniature pack. Okay guys, well, just before I begin, let's get the trusty box cutter out, and let's open up the box. Now this box is different from the others, it's not like your normal, uh, sort of like cardboard box from the other expansions that you saw. From the Dark Tales, the Colossus Dark Oak miniature box, or... Uh, the main set. This is a little bit different, I believe. Actually, also so it's probably a little bit more to it. Okay, so let's come this way for a minute. If you can hear some noises in the background, I apologise, and it's the dog. Okay, so the dirt and sweat drips into your eyes, blurring your vision. Desperately, you raise your sword, barely deflecting the teeth and claws as the monstrous beast descends upon you. The muscles in your arm burn with fatigue. You can feel the creature's hunger dripping from its open mouth, barely inches from your flesh. You are also so tired the full moon overhead dims, splattered with blood. This is... Let this be the end, you plead. But for those who stand up against the darkness, death is only the beginning. So I'm guessing with the splatter of blood, he's just been killed. I like that. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, so is there... Oh, there's no... There's nothing to read. Apart from the little bit at the back. I was ho maybe hoping for something. Like maybe some cards or something. Okay, so... Let's have a look. His sword is curved as well. <laughs> this is the illusionist, I believe. Yep, it's the illusionist. I like this. For the ghost models, that's really cool. That's actually done really, really well. That's, I'm actually quite impressed with that. I believe this one is the Slayer. Again, the only thing I'm, I'm a little kind of worried about is the ghost actually has the sword and the other bits. But don't get me wrong, it still looks really good. <laughs> I believe this is the scientist. Okay, this one here is um oh god, what is it? The sorry about that. I can't remember. Oh, let's have a look at the bomb. So we're in the arcanist. I believe that's how you say it. This one is the Witch Hunter. Let me zoom. Oh, that's already he's done it. These do look really good. I have to say, I'm very kind of happy with what I'm seeing. The I'm going to do the last one as the creature that's in the middle. That's the Courtier. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. This one here is the Archaeologist. I do love the whip. That he's got actually that does look really cool to me. This one here is the woodsman. Again, though, the only gripe I've got with the woodsman's model, I think it looks really cool otherwise. You know what I said? It was leaves. It's probably fur, but at the time it kind of looked a uh, little, little like leaves to me. I have to admit, I was tired though when I did it, though, guys. Um, it's just his little hatchet axe. I was expecting something like. A two-handed wood, um, two-handed axe. There's the butcher. Again, look, I, I do like this. The madman. Again, I like that. Ah, is this the illusion? No, not illusionist. Is it? It's the telepath. This is the telepath. This one here is the Exorcist. I do like the, uh, the like the fact that he's probably swinging around. Um, oh, incense. And then he's got his mace. There could even be little bits like holy water in it. Kind of reminds me of this thing that the priests used to use. Uh, okay, guys. Well, oh no, no, there's one more model, isn't there? I almost, almost did it. 
This is the Wraith. Now the stats for the Wraith is in the core set. And I have to admit, what I see here is actually, I'm really liking, but I'm trying to think, what does it look kind of remind me of? It's like a kind of witch. I do like all the sort of like thick blue, the flowing cloak behind it. I think this looks really good. I'm actually really happy about that. Okay guys, now that is the unboxing for the Ghost Miniature Pack. There's nothing to read really there. Um, so yeah, a bit shorter than usual. So also just want to point out, this is made for, again, the uh, uh, Folklore of the Affliction, for when your characters sort of die. This is made by, designed by the Twin Fire Productions and Green Bearer Games. So yeah. Alright guys, let me know if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to meet if you'd like to leave a comment, please do. If you'd like to subscribe, everyone is welcome, please do. But I do warn you, I do other unboxings of other games. I have done some little gameplay stuff. I'm planning on doing some again at some point, but unfortunately a Pacific pet that you have heard make some noise today is a big problem. Uh, when it comes to that. I'm also Oh, straight after this one, I am going to be doing this set here. I believe there's some models in here that um, will be coming, you know, which you don't get in the other sets, which I think is some of the uh, other characters. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, as I said, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do tell me your experiences of playing. There's a gentleman actually on the Facebook book group. He has been doing some amazing paint jobs. So, yep. I have to, I can't remember his name now, which is annoying because I tried to remember it a minute ago. But he's been, some of the stuff I've seen him do is amazing. Also, as I said, guys, everyone's welcome if you want to subscribe. I hope you're having a good day and I hope everything is well. See you soon, guys. Bye.